back of the LT Outdoors. The channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Yee! Yes, baby. Yes! Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Fish are all about and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors. I'm talking LT Outdoors. Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting. Might even do a little fortune too. I'm talking LT Outdoors. I hope you enjoy the show. Special thank you to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, please visit www.patreon.com. Type in LT Outdoors. It's a huge help for the channel. I couldn't do this without you guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. This one's a little different. Uh, taking a break here in the ice fishing season. Well, kind of. I'm going to be doing this kind of in between. I'm still going to be fishing, but... I got a call and I got to deal with it, but we've got a beaver problem here at one of my old neighbor's places and uh, of course I got to jump in and help them. So yeah, I know you guys have been wanting to see some more trapping. So here we go. I'm going to be doing some late winter trapping right here. We're almost to the spring breakout, but uh, yeah, definitely going to catch some stuff. I'm targeting beaver. I only got two days left to be getting uh, muskrat and mink and I am going to try for them too. I only got two days, but I'm going to try. Uh, there's a buck mink hanging out down here. See if we can get him. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I came down here to check out a beaver problem. So far, those are mink tracks. Uh, it's a, I'd say a big buck mink which that's always cool to come across. And then right here, this is always neat to see. Uh, this is actually otter slides. Yep, the otters were coming up here and just sliding down the bank. That's what they like to do. These are the otter tracks right here. Looks like a pretty good size one. But yeah, so far I'm not seeing the beaver sign, but there's otter mink. So let's keep checking. There's another otter slide. That's a more definite one there. Going right in the water. Okay, now this is pretty crazy. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna have to go get more traps. That right there is a den hole. That right there is another den hole. And there's one down under this dock. And who knows, there might be some more up this way a little bit, so definitely a lot more beavers than I thought all right guys that right there MB 750 got a caster mound set up right there with the little Bass Brothers beaver lure thanks again to Bass Brothers good company Bass Brothers beaver lure I got a little stake down there re-rod stake run on a cable and there's a cement block at the end See what happens we should have something tomorrow okay guys first place i'm gonna set here is this channel this is a really nice perfect channel to set um it should be fairly easy they've got a, already got a dive board so they're going to be going directly under that anyway um i've got a pile of 330s down here with me and some of my my stakes i'll stake this baby down and we'll move on to the next couple holes Okay guys, now this season I have had better luck. My buddy John Creddy taught me this, but I've been setting my traps like this. I put my stake straight through these on an angle, and that way it's, they, they have to hit that trigger. Um, it also seems to hold better, plus I can put another stake. Once I get this in, I can put one between these two springs, it gives it more strength. But I've been doing really well with this setup, so that's what I'm going to put in here. Let's get her done. All right, guys, it's kind of murky, hard to see, but the trap is right there. Um, I probably will, just to be safe, I'm gonna put a stick in the way. 
just to kind of force oh, don't fall in dummy just to kind of force the beaver into the jaws they take the root the root of least resistance just like anything else I've got it wired to that stake I've got this stake down too to give it a little extra he's probably gonna break both of these anyway yeah especially if it's a good sized beaver but uh yeah let's see if we get them okay guys this might not look like much but when I'm setting for beaver or anything really especially water animals I like to set heavy right there is basically the end of their trail where they start coming up out of the water um, anything coming or going out of this is gonna come through here should hit right there so I put an extra trap there at the end of this one so who knows maybe we'll get two That'd be cool. Let's get the other one set. Okay, next we got this one. It's another really good run. I didn't bring enough stakes or I'd probably put two. Um, I've only got enough to put another trap in, but as you can see, I've got it. You can only push them in so far in the run itself because the ground is super solid from them constantly running in and out. But I did put this on the side of my wire to help with a little strength. And this is as deep as I could get it for some more strength. Uh, even if they do pull this, the furthest they'll get is probably float around here. So, see what happens. Alright, it's getting a little messy and a little dark. But the last house is right there, the last hole. Which is not far from that one. So I'm guessing this is probably an entrance and exit hole. It's probably one den right here. That's pretty cool. We just had a golden eye. One of my favorite ducks. They're so pretty. That's a Drake Golden I just flew in on us. <laughs> cool. Let's get some more traps set. All right, guys. We only have two days left for mink and muskrat season. What I want to show you that right there is a mink den hole. Also, if you find a cool little hole like that going into the snow, especially if it's near the water. 99% of the time, I can bet you, it's a mink. I caught my very first mink in a hole like that. All I did was lay a 110 in front of it at Turtle Marsh and caught my very first mink when I was about 15. So what I'm gonna do, because this is a perfect scenario, I'm gonna set one of my 155s right in front of this hole. Um, I didn't bring any stakes, but it's not gonna get far. If he gets in it, I'll find him in the snow. I think I'm going to set another one on the other side of this, so we should have a mink. Alright, got another good spot right here. Those are weasel tra or mink tracks going right up under that hole. He's probably got a bunch of little bank down holes going along here. Again, I just stick that right in front of it. See what happens. Okay guys, this is clear as day. He's got a tunnel there. This is something I've never seen before. That right there is mink pee. We got a buck mink here, marking his territory. That is very cool. That's something you don't see all the time. And uh, again, he's got a tunnel and a trail. Look at that, went right through there. Right through there, he's got a, I mean, he just goes all along the shore. So again, I'm gonna set, uh, I'm actually gonna put this one right here. Cause he obviously goes in and out of this all the time. I could put it in front of that, but I think this will be a better shot. So let's see what happens. All right, there's the pee. Boom, there's the trap. Going right in this trail. Okay, now this one here, I'm taking a chance with, because I see the grass and stuff down there, and the smaller tracks, and just not a very big dive hole. To me, this looks like a muskrat hole. So, I've only got two days left in the season. I'm gonna put this big old colony trap right there. You guys have seen me use these before. Let's get this in the water, see if we can get some rats. Don't get much better than that, folks. That should have some rats in the morning. Well, the, the traps are all set, guys. I think there will bloodshed in the morning. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping we got a good catch rate, and then me and Rich, after we're done checking traps, are heading to Saginaw River, we're gonna see if we can get some catfish. So stay tuned, let me know what you think. You guys, as you can see, there was a trap up here under that bank. You remember me setting that yesterday? 
that is no longer here. Boom, baby. That is a beautiful mink. Like I said, I didn't stake them down because I knew they wouldn't get far. I'll tell you though, that's an interesting mink. He's been caught before by something because he does not have a tail. I have never caught one before without a tail. That's cool. I think I'm gonna reset, see if we can get another one. All right guys, you can see all these feathers here in the water. Nope, that's probably her mate. Uh, that right there is a golden eye hen that just ran into the power line. Got nailed and we thought she was dead, but she hit the water and she's back to swimming, so that's good. She's swimming up river too. Good to go. And then down here, kind of a bummer, it's in my beaver run, but we got a muskrat. So hey, that's two animals today. I'll take it. Better than nothing. All right, I just want to show you guys. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, like I said, I had to pull the trap yesterday because mink season just ended. All that fresh dirt right there around that little hole that I showed you in the video, that's from a mink. Those are mink tracks. That's mink tracks. Mink tracks. Mink tracks. He hopped under there and he peed up there in that hole, so it's another male. Um, that's cool. That's cool. See, I like seeing stuff like that because, hey, I know that I didn't take the only one out of here. I, I'd feel bad if I knew that. So it's all about conservation. That's really cool. So, yep, there's another mink around. All right, guys. I am super pumped. I was not expecting this. All right, I was coming along. Set off trap. Set off trap, right? Probably muskrats, more than likely. Otter sign all over. They were here. Um, so I was getting a little bummed. Fresh mink sign, which is good. There's still mink around, but I'll tell you what. I just came up to my my uh, caster mound set. We have a beaver. We have a beaver. Yes! <laughs> Let's get this guy out. Alright guys, this is that caster mound that I made. I showed it in my video. Um, you can see all the scent was just, I mean, he knocked it down. The caster's been thrown down. All that Bass Brothers lure's been just destroyed. The trap is gone. See where I put those stakes to keep him from stepping anywhere? Boom, baby. Beaver at the bottom. That's what I want. I'm going to remake this because I don't know how many beavers are here. There could be a couple. And that's my job is to get them out of here. So <laughs> I'm so stoked. Let's pull this beaver out. All right, guys. Got the beaver out. Not a bad size one. I'd say probably, I mean, it's not a giant by any means. Probably 25, 30 pounds. So, hey, that's a good start. That might be the only beaver. We don't know. Um, I'm going to reset this trap, though, like I said. See if we get some more. It's going to be warm the next few days. They're going to be moving. All right, fellow trappers. As you can see, Bass's beaver lure works very good. These guys, they're out of Iowa, and uh, I'm very blessed that they sent me some stuff this year to try out, and I'm happy to be part of their team. Uh, I never thought in a million years I'd be part of a trapping team, and uh, like I said, Bass's beaver lure, Bass's lures and baits. I'm going to put their little link on here again, guys. Good stuff. Let's get this caster mound reset, see what we get tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and, I like I said, I don't see the trap. So I'm gonna grab this cable and pull it up here. Trap is down. I think that's our beaver. <sighs> yep, we got one, guys. I think this is the final beaver that I've been trying to get for so long. 
Looks like it might be a big one. Ah, nice front pad catch there. Oh yeah, that's a big beaver. This is definitely the one that I've been after. <laughs> yeah, baby. Thank you, John. Let's see if I can open this thing. That's the one. That is the one that Ron has been wanting me to catch for over a month. Finally, finally got him. Yes. All right, guys, I'm out here today just checking my diesel boxes. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of in a pine row, okay? They really like thick stuff. Uh, ditches are good, pine rows are good. Um, this right here, is my weasel box. As you can see, it's got just a little, almost like a birdhouse hole in it. And it's got a rat trap inside. That is all that is needed to catch them. I've got some good fresh bloody meat right there. Um, this thing's ready to rock and roll. I thought it might need some fresh bait, but let's go check some of the other boxes. They were buried in the snow, but today we've had a big thaw. They should be uncovered. Okay, this is kind of a new style that I'm trying out here. Um, normally, what I would do, but I don't have a uh, hole saw. Normally, I would drill a hole right here. Okay, I can't find my hole saw. And normally, that would be placed straight down, and it'd be more like a bird box than anything like a birdhouse. But I didn't have that, so what I did is I just left a gap in the bottom where the weasels can come in and out. I think it's going to work just the same. Uh, I got a nice, uh, that's a leg quarter from a muskrat back there. They love that. Nice bloody red meat. That's what it's all about. Haw Baker's Weasel Lure. I love using this stuff. I really think it helps. What I do is I'm going to take some of this off out of here on a little piece of stick. I'm going to throw it in the back. This will be ready to go, guys. As you can see, I got a little hinge on the top of my box right there so I can shut it up. That way they're nice and safe to go in. Um, all I got there is a, that's pretty much a rat trap. This one though is a Wolf Creek weasel trap. It's something new I'm trying this year. I think they're going to be great. So, see what happens. Okay guys, I'm super excited to show this. Uh, this is my first weasel catch of the year. Should be many more to come. And, I can see right now there was another weasel here this morning. Um, so I'm going to rebait, reset. As you can see, they're not very big. They're little tiny things. Um, that's why you're able to use a, you know, this is just a regular old rat trap. Just the old fashioned wooden rat traps is all it takes to catch these. But yeah, that's uh, called an ermine and they'll kill off a lot of birds quick. So, yep, just a little bait, little scent. Get her back going again. Okay guys, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, kind of a patience game. First, I'm going to show you this. You see tracks like that in the snow? If you see a thumb anywhere in a track, rest assured it's a possum. All right. Now, this trap here, I've had this set for a couple weeks, and it hasn't been doing anything. But because this is such a, a brushy ditch, I figured there'd be stuff here. Get a load of that, guys. There is my second, second ermine of the year. So cool, so cool. Oh man. Yeah, this is uh, actually my original trap here. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They got some crazy, crazy teeth on them. For a little critter, man, they will they will mess some stuff up. That is exciting. Yep, that's the weasel boxes, guys. As you can see, I had a I had a hind quarter of a muskrat in the back of this. That's all it was, and a rat trap. <laughs> Holy cow! There's been a lot going on right here. Look at all these tracks. I think it's a mixture, it looks like skunk and possum. Oh, they didn't even set the trap off. Looks like there was a fight though, there's some blood. 
Oh no, they did set the trap off. Yeah, they did. I'm gonna switch this out though. I don't like that trap. That's something new I thought I'd try. But it wasn't a weasel anyway. It's just these possums and skunks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna pull this. We're gonna be moving them, everything down anyway. Okay guys, I can see I've got a catch in here, but it's definitely not what I wanted. I am, however, gonna pull it. Oh, you know what, maybe I'm not. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. As you can see, I caught a field mouse. That field mouse has been shredded. Um, my guess is there's a weasel that got in there and ate the mouse. So, in fact, I know there is. Look at that. He's actually been eating the back of that muskrat. So I'm gonna reset this one. I think we're gonna get a weasel out of here. Wanna get yourself some fine LT Outdoors apparel or tackle like this camouflage hat, this ice fishing shirt, Hey, what about this camouflage hat or this black metal detecting hat? You can get it all. Email me, ltoutdoors15 at yahoo.com. I got little bottle cap ice fishing jigs. I've got walleye harnesses for days. You guys know those work. I got t-shirts. I got hoodies. You guys just got to get a hold of me. If you want this stuff, again, ltoutdoors15 at yahoo.com. Get a hold of me. Let me know what you want. I will send you price listings and pictures. This has been brought to you by RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Everything for the serious ice fisherman. Sportsman's Connection. Find the right hole. Crooked Bet. All your food plot needs and great seasoning. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. And Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. Everything for the serious trapper. This is good!